Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to sync text effects, styles, colors, fonts across all texts inside of a single sequence or entire project actually. So basically the last tutorial went over the master tab and that allows you to apply one effect and affect multiple clips of the same piece of footage. So I had a request for this to do the exact same thing but with text because a lot of times we want the text to be exactly the same whether we're creating captions or subtitles or anything like that a lot of times you don't use different fonts and if you change one style let's say you have like 50 of these you want it to all change at the same time so that's what we're going to be going over today let's get started what we have here is you see the problem right here is we have a bunch of different text and if I go into the first one if I go over here to the essential graphics panel if it's not open just go up the window and find it open it up you can go into the workspace to get here too we're gonna click on the text over here and if I change the fill of this to like red you notice that none of the others change that's because they're not linked up and then it's actually really hard to actually copy these into a, buff, a bunch of different ones so I can't like highlight this and copy and paste I could control C and control V and that might work but again that's a lot of control C and V's and that's it's tedious we're trying to find the quicker way of doing it so what we can actually do is we can go up here and we can actually create ourselves a master text style and this is basically going to be the bread and butter of this effect is this right here it creates a style that you can apply to a bunch of different ones with a little bit of nuance in it uh, which I'll go over uh, a little bit later. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the master text style right here. So we've got the new effect. Red is now in. This is the color we're going for. So we're gonna create master text style. And we're gonna name it something like red text to make it really descriptive. And we're gonna click OK and we actually wanna change the font here to, uh, to this nice fancy font right here. And of course nothing has changed yet. So now you can already see that I created a little bit prematurely and so you're gonna see that there's a problem here it's like whoa you said red text but now we're changing things up so that's where these two buttons come into play we can either pull back from the original so this is actually very computer science like if any of you are our programmers out there um, whenever you're syncing up a project you have to pull or push to that master project so right here we have the effect and since nothing else is using it we can just push this new change with this from minion pro up so we can click this push to style and now red text has this new style to it and I'm gonna go over that in a little bit so if you didn't understand that just hold on and we're gonna go over the effect and then I'll come back to how you actually modify it so we're gonna click on here now we need to go into each one of these text files and we need to change the master file to red text and now you might be thinking yes this is a little bit tedious but if you had this in mind when you started it makes it really easy because all you have to do is create one text file and just copy and paste it every time you need a new one and the style will already be set for you and then you can just redo the text every time whoops not style one we want it to be red text here so now they're all the same style now let's say that we we get to here and we're like you know what blue is the new color we want so the first thing we need to do is we need to click on this file and you'll see that there's there's no change here because we haven't changed anything now I need to go to blue click OK and you'll now see that it's modified from here what we want to do is we want to click the push to master style again so we can click the push to master style and now you'll notice all of them change so that's how you change an effect now let's say we go into here and we manipulate some things around whoops go to edit click on here we make a change like we add a stroke or something like that and we don't actually want that what we can do is then we can actually revert this by clicking sync from master style so it's then going to pull that that red text which is now blue text it's going to pull whatever style it was and revert it back to the normal so that we can you know get back to where we started because we want it back in sync with the rest of them if we make a change and we decide we don't like that change we don't just want that one to be you know weird we want to bring it back to what originally we had it at so we can actually pull it so that's what those two buttons over there do they allow you to change it anywhere you want change up the the um the fill or whatever change out a shadow out a stroke and then you can just push that to the master style and then all of them will suddenly be affected and so now you can see i can click on this one I hit control C V and we have a new one down here and it's got the exact same style um, and then what I can do is I can go to the second one over here open that up change the color to pink click OK push that to the master style and this new one now already has the color so they're all synced up all we have to do is make a change in one push it up and we're good to go the effects are transferred that is it on this tutorial if you guys got any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials like this one was a suggestion by someone in the comments if you got any suggestions like that those in the comment section below if you want to see more videos similar to this one i make an adobe related video every other day so yeah go ahead and hit that subscribe button and so you can see all those videos all right guys until next time see ya